Well, the, the dancer sort of represents the fantasy of it all because this guy um, watches this woman and finds her so beautiful that he almost wonders what it's like to be her. He, he can't imagine walking the earth as such a beautiful creature. Um, it's a sensual song. Uh, it's a song about longing and desire uh, and ultimately uh, being with this person uh, for the rest of your life. So uh, I tried to do something that was kind of sexy and cool and had an easy vibe about it. I was really lucky because I married my best friend and among her infinite qualities that I really love, mystery is one of them. So even though I've been with her for 24 years, I still find her to be very mysterious and I'm always trying to figure her out. Uh, so I think I have a few more songs left of me to write about her. <laughs> I think the older I get, the more I kind of let my guard down. Um, I'm in it for the long haul and, and uh, I've never been the type of artist to write completely autobiographically. You know, I like to keep th some things a fantasy, but as I get older, I find that I want to tell my personal story more and more. Hopefully I'll be able to continue to do that. Oh, there is. Sure there is, because if you're singing a song about heartbreak and you're not heartbroken, then you have to sort of put yourself in the position of somebody who is heartbroken. So it, it definitely has a lot of similarities similarities with uh, with acting and it, it seems when you're singing a song with a great lyric it seems easy to do but it's a little bit tricky sometimes your mind wanders and you don't you're not present so I think it's important that the kids be reminded and myself be reminded to always try to be present in the song thank you